Alrighty folks, how is it going? Coming in your ear holes today from the shed uh, with another how-to. Uh, this time it is fitting SM Pro uh, sliders um, on front and back axle. So that's them there. Obviously they're already fitted on mine, uh, but I need to take the back wheel off anyway and the front's a piece of piss, so thought I'd just show you how to do it. Yeah, this tutorial uh, is for the Husky 701, the 690 will be, should be, exactly the same. To start, you'll need to lift the bike up. You only need to take the back wheel off. Uh, you will need one of these little bobbin thingies that screw into the swing arm, uh, or um, a jack stand type thing to lift it up from underneath. If the lighting's a bit shit, sorry, I haven't got any lights in my new shed yet. So I'm just going to do it as quick as possible before I run out of daylight. The axle bobbin screw in just in there and then use your lifter thingy. I've lifted it on the wrong bit but hey ho. Slacken these off and wind them in a bit just to give the, the wheel some movement to uh, take the back axle out. Once you've got those slackened off you then need to take that beast off. If you've got a socket that, that big that's great. Uh, but I has an adjustable spanner and that does the job. So crack that off, we'll get the wheel out. Once you've got that big nut off, take off your adjuster block and that should help give you enough give uh, in the chain uh, to get the chain off the sprocket. Yep, so pull the axle out a little bit, that'll let you slide the wheel forward enough to get the uh, chain off the sprocket. Or you can just pull it all out and roll the wheel forward, one or the other. Whatever is easier for you. Right, so that's the axle out. If you're not actually taking the wheel out, you can pop a bit of wood underneath the tyre. It's only dropped a few mil, so not too much. Uh, now then, this is where I got stumped. Because this, the original thingy, and this one, is actually threaded onto the axle. Um, and it wasn't exactly obvious on how to remove it. Um, I used a set of mole grips uh, around around here. Can it, you can see there that I've kind of damaged, well, scratched it a little bit. Um, I wrapped it in some paper or cloth um, and then put the mole grips on it really tight um, and then used the adjustable spanner on the original block uh, to like go on the bit that sticks out. Um, and just, well, cracked it off. Yeah, just it, it's a normal thread. I uh, just loosened it that way. It is quite tight because there's thread locker on it. Uh, if you have access to a vise, great. Uh, you can stick this end in the vise uh, and then use whatever to get some welly on the, uh, the axle. Uh, I have heard or seen some folk use uh, a bit of heat on the block just to help the block expand and also melt the thread locker and then uh, get it off that way. Uh, but whatever works best for you. Um, so yeah, once you get that off, give it a bit clean uh, and then just put a little bit of fresh grease on just to help it slide through the uh, the wheel and stuff that bit easier. It's just a case of twist this one back on. This, big, this one here uh, is threaded to go back on the axle. You can't get them mixed up. Um, yeah, just screw it on as tight as you can. You might want to put a bit of thread locker on, but it, it's not going anywhere. Uh, so yeah, just get it as tight as possible. And then this goes on. Uh, the slider. The sliders have got some little hex heads in. You see them there? I think it is a 5mm hex. I will check. 6mm. 6mm hex. Hex 6. There we go. Or Allen key. Whatever you want to call them. Yeah. And then just fire it back together. So you can slap that one on that uh, slider on if you want, or do it once you are finished. Uh, stick it back in, she said. Uh, once you've got that all back in, it is pretty much just the exact opposite of taking it apart. These are very pretty. I do like these. I love CNC machine things. There's just something about them. Look nice and trick especially anodized ones, but yeah, these are, these are top-notch. They look nice, and 
that's what my bike's all about. Tart's handbag. Yep. Put your new um, nut, bolt, nut on. Yep. And tighten it up. Uh, if you've got a torque wrench, I think it's 45 newton meters. I could be wrong. I will pop it up on the screen. Uh, tighten that up and then, no, don't tighten it up. Leave it loose. Do your thingies first. Get the chain to your desired tension. And then torque this up. Right, so the front is pretty much a piece of piss. Um, you probably have to slacken these two uh, bolts off that hold the axle in on the front, just so you can get this big bolt off. Ooh, good arse. Um, that will not have a hole in it. You'll need to drill a, yeah, I think a six mil hole, um, just to get this rod through. Now you do need to take it off because there's a little plastic uh, thingy in, actually inside the axle. Um, so once you've got that off, there's a small, well, it's like a small nut. The the inside of the axle is threaded, uh, only only a little bit. Uh, so I think it was a eight mil socket. Um, you just take that little plastic cap out, and then you'll be able to get this uh, this threaded rod all the way through. That's it there. Um, that's how it comes. It comes in two, three bits. This little blue bit slides off. Now, this uh, SM project stuff is really pretty. It is, however, just a shame that that gets covered up. That goes on there. Like so. Okay, and that has to slide in from the not brake side. So, just slot this bad boy in. So that little blue cap slots in there. Uh, I'm get it in the get it in the hole. Oh, are we in? Are we in? There we go. So yeah, that goes in the hole. As I said, it's just a shame that that gets covered up because it looks nice and pretty. So plonk it on there, line it up. If you're OCD like me, uh, it's gone rusty. <laughs> um, and yeah, the other side, it's just threaded, threaded. Focus, there we go. There's no nuts or bolts or anything to hold this one on. It is just threaded on the inside. So literally, screw that sucker on. Takes a while. <laughs> yeah, you get the picture. And that's it. So that's the front, nice and easy. So once you've got it all stuffed together, that is the finished product. As I said before, they uh, they are very pretty. They look nice. Uh, I love CNC stuff, uh, especially when it's anodized and whatnot. Um, yeah, I just hope I don't have to uh, crash test it. Uh, so that's that. Uh, if you've liked my video, please hit like and subscribe. Tickle that bell end icon uh, for notifications of when I post some more stuff up. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more helpful how-tos and tuning and whatnot this year. Um, but yeah. Until next time, cheers.